Go ahead. When, when you look at the way you played uh, against Michigan over, over the weekend, you feel good about the way things are going into the playoffs for the most part? Yeah, that's fair. You know, uh, in comparison to the, to the um, Northern series or the Ferris series, I definitely think it was the most consistent over two games that we, we played. It got a little loose there at times, um, the first two periods in particular on Saturday. That's not a team you want to you want to play a loose transition game with, but we were able to get away with it at least through two periods. Um, but I, you know, I, I think we all feel it was good to get a result, and I don't think it was one where we were handed the result. I thought we had to earn it, and uh, and I thought for the most part we hung in there and, and fought hard on Saturday. So I don't think we could feel any better about how um, we're playing going in to the weekend. Uh, you know, just based on. Uh, on what we've done at this point. How does it help that you've got a bunch of guys on the team from last year who who, who played? The, who played? I think it helps with our confidence that they, they, they've been through it before. I think uh, they feel we're a better team and, and they probably know that Northern's a better team, but uh, you know, to, to have been up there and had some success before. I mean, the last three games we've played at Nor or excuse me, four games were three and one. That's not... <laughs> You know, or I guess it's five games. You know, when we played the the, the series uh, up there and split, and then the, the three game series in the playoffs, so it's three and two. Uh, but there's not many, at least with, since we've been together, there's not many rings where we have a winning record in there. And Northern's one of them. Um, so I think it helps in our uh, with our confidence. We've played one series on a big ice sheet before. Those guys that played in the series last year know that we can compete on a big ice sheet when we have to. And, um, I think as much as we've struggled with our mental mindset and our mental makeup, uh, it's nice to have positive thoughts going into this building for the weekend. On one hand, um, people are saying that Northern might have an advantage wanting to avenge last year's playoff series, but then you look at the series two weeks ago. Um, that you guys might. Yeah, we'd like to avenge that yeah, series yeah. for sure. How do, you, how do you see that? Um, well, I, I think that Northern's a better team this year, Kevin, than they were last year, and I'm sure Walt would agree with that. And I'm not talking necessarily about results because they, they finished in sixth last year as well. Um, I know they've played better at home this year than they did last year in general. Um, I thought the series, the, the Northern series before, with the exception of a 20-minute span, which was the first period Friday, it wasn't that one-sided of a series. I mean, it was basically Saturday night was a one nothing game with an empty net goal and it was a power play. Their special teams outperformed ours big time and it cost us both games. Um, so I'm not sure how much revenge factor or any of those come into play on either side. Um, I think both teams are improved, but uh, you know the whole ice for them is gonna make it difficult for us and, and, and I think they played really well at home. So uh, that, that's something that uh, they're gonna build off of is that, that confidence of how they've played in their building. So. I, you know, I think it's pretty fair to say if there's an advantage, they have it. But that's more so on paper, um, just based on on uh, the, the the games we've played over the past two years. Where do you see your team's improvement over last year? What areas do you, do you like? Them? Well, I think we're a bigger group. I think we're we're more confident in what we're doing just because we've been with uh, doing it for longer. Um, you know, I, I still feel. We're, 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 we get pretty exposed when it comes to depth and scoring and when it comes to um, our youth. But we found a way to kind of get by that, at least more so for the second half than we did the first half. Um, you know, other than that, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of difference. But, uh, you know, I do think that going into the series last year, it didn't seem like we were playing all that well. Uh, and I think this year we've played better the second half than we did last year for the second half. So I think we're a little more confident right now than we were last year at this time. This is games, what, 10 and 11 against Northern since the last seven last year? And, and, and uh, two, yeah, yeah, yeah 10 and yeah, 11, yeah. yeah. Um, how do you see the rivalry with Northern? Well, so I, it's probably one that's growing, right? Because we're going in the same league together. And, uh, you know, when you play a team seven times in one year, it's, it's obviously just circumstance. Uh, with the four games yeah. in the league and then the three in the playoffs. Um, you know, I, I look at uh, 
I look at those rivalries, Kevin, growing with the teams that we're going to go to the new WCHA with. I really think that that's going to naturally are going to develop because we're all coming to the CCHA together, and um, I think they're going to develop a little bit easier that way. So we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Other than that, they're just a, another real good opponent that we have respect for. So, um, you know, geography doesn't make a whole lot of sense right. with the rivalry or things like that, but we have played each other a bunch over the last couple of years. I mean, there's a saying that familiarity breeds contempt. You, is there a dislike between the teams? Uh, no more than anybody else. I, th I think uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a healthy dislike. It's not, it's not uh, you know, something where, uh, you know, we can't stay focused, you know, nothing like that. I, I, don't, I don't think it's any different than any other opponent, to be quite honest. You mentioned special teams are earlier, and obviously. Another. Yeah, I uh, you know, I, I don't think it's going to come down to just that, but, but I think when we look back and when we talk after the games this weekend, we'll be able to look at special teams and you'll be able to see the difference on who won and who won the special teams game. Um, they beat us 4-2, to two, I believe, the first night here, 2 nothing the second night, and they were four power play goals out of their five, basically, when we had the goalie in the net. Um, our penalty kill needs to be much better. Our discipline needs to be much better. Our discipline was fine on Saturday, but, but Friday our discipline wasn't fine. It wasn't very good at all. Uh, so we're going to need to be disciplined with our actions, and we're going to need to execute on both sides of the special teams game. And that was the message today in practice. It'll be the message tomorrow. It'll be the message Thursday. Uh, they'll be sick of it come Friday, but that's what it's going to come down to is executing and, and uh, in all facets of the game. But special teams are going to be huge. And, and right now, their special teams are hot, have uh, played well, it looks like. And uh, uh, I'm not saying ours haven't played well, but the results don't show as much as their results show. So we're going to have to uh, really do a job to win that battle when it comes to uh, these three games this weekend or, or whatever it takes. You said it wouldn't necessarily be all special teams. So what other things were in the uh, mix I, that could make a difference? I, 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 just, I just feel it's, it, it's the, the small little details of, of, their, of your game individually and, and our game collectively. I think stick positioning. I think when you have the puck on your stick, executing that play, whether the play is icing or not, I do think these little plays, they make a difference every night. But when the regular season, there's tomorrow, there's next week, you know, and in the playoffs, there isn't. I think face-offs are going to be huge. When you look at the, the, the percentage of face-offs, the first series, I think we were in the 40% the Friday night, and we were in the 60, 65 range on Saturday. That's a tale of two different nights, as far as I'm concerned. Both the goals Michigan scored against us on Saturday in a 0-0 game were basically face-off goals. The, the, it will make the difference. The difference being, in the big picture, the Michigan series didn't cost us our season. Northern Michigan, it will. If, if, if it, and that's what we feel it's going to come down to. Little plays like that. Because I do think there's some similarities with these two teams. I, I think they're more veteran than we are. I think their top guys are older than ours. But I think both teams can defend okay. And I think both teams have some good goaltending. They, they have more depth in goal, but I, I think it's going to be at least Coral, what you would think, based on our last series. So uh, I think it's going to come down to these little details no different than any other game, except now there won't be another week if we don't uh, if we don't stay on the positive side of executing. See, when you look at Northern, they've got a pretty good team. I mean, with yeah. goaltending, a big D, yeah, yeah. and some forwards. Yeah, I, I, I've always liked, and yeah. we said this before when they were here. I've always liked the way Walt and his staff have put together the team. You know, uh, Tyler Grun has been a guy who this time of year for his four years at Northern has been a pretty special player. I mean, he's a guy that's been involved in the playoffs in particular. This year it was all season long. Justin Florek is arguably one of the better players in the league. He's a combination of size and, he can, he's, and skill and so on and so forth. Um, you know, I, I like the way Reed Seckle plays the game. Like, their, their top forwards are pretty good. Their, their decor is a real solid group, and there's some size back there. And then goaltending, I mean, we got a taste of that, whether it's Ellingson, uh, who, who, who we know has played some real good hockey as of late, didn't play in the series a couple of weeks ago, but I think he played at Michigan and then he played at home against Lake Superior this past weekend. Uh, or Coral, who, you know, is a great big guy who, who, who shut us down pretty good over, over the weekend three weeks ago. So, uh, you know, a lot of respect there. Uh, you know, I, I think they've got a, a great team. It's going to be difficult for us. 
But in terms of the matchup and, and, and on paper, it, it's a team where our guys have a little bit of confidence based on history. Uh, not necessarily this year's history, but history over the past two years. And a team that I think we, we feel we can compete with if we are focused and, and ready to compete. Are you going to have DeSalvo and Pelcomo this weekend? It's still yet to be seen. Uh, we may come off our, our hard line of you have to practice to play or you have to, you have to engage in, 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 in battling and, and, and hitting to play. Um, you know, I really, if, if I had to, to talk about one separately from the other, I think DeSalvo is real close and, 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 and Pelts, I think, is just hard with that high ankle sprain and, and putting your foot in the boot and having to cut and with the big ice sheet. You know, I just I, I feel it's going to be difficult, but you know, it's still three days, and, and you know, we'll we'll see what happens here. Will you leave Thursday or? We'll leave first thing Thursday. Yeah. Uh. Are you going to skate there then? Yeah, we'll leave uh, plenty of time so we can get there to skate and, and have a have a meal Thursday night, and then go from there. That's all. Good. That's good. All right, we're good. Thanks a lot. First thing.